we have from France the very latest varieties, both for gardens and under glass. For example, who's just performed, Jerry Jeff Walker. And we're gonna be talking to him a little bit about some of the songs he's done and some of the things he's been doing. I know that you're kind of one of those people that has a lot more personal goals than professional goals in your life. Why is that? Well, because I don't like to work particularly. I, was, I didn't set out to get a job, I just thought I'd wander around and see my country. And I started that about 1959, haven't stopped yet. <laughs> But uh, it led me to Austin, and I kind of had made that my home base for the last 12 years. I know that you said something about wanting to travel around with your wife as a personal goal? Oh, well, we were just, the other day I'd called some booking people. I said, I'd like to go over to Europe and see what's going on. They said one of those things, well, it's not really the right time now you don't have an album out or you're not in a movie or something i said i just want to go over and see what's going on jack you know and i said if you don't find one i'm getting on people's express with my guitar and i bet you i'll find a gig mm -hmm. and the guy said well if you want to go like that i'm sure we can so we said my wife and i were talking about maybe just getting five or six gigs over there kind of just me and my guitar to interlace between about three weeks of wandering around we'll just meander around maybe get a couple motorcycles or something and just motor around the countryside, see things, and use the music to support it. We leave the kiddies at home and with grandma and just guitar and back and go, you know. So your music's just to have fun with, really? Well, it's, and it, it helps me, really, you know, when I get the blues, I can express how I feel. And when I'm up, I can dance around and celebrate it. I play it for the kids around the house. We do all kinds of stuff. I mean, that's basically what I started learning music for, was to be able to play for my own enjoyment and I still think that that's the key thing. I, I don't want to learn how to write catchy little tunes or jingles. I'm not in that kind of a business. I'm, I'm in the business of entertaining myself and expressing myself and, it's, and I think there's enough people out there that can get off to what I'm saying and that will come and hear shows. And, you know, I sing at people's weddings and stuff that kind of goes hand in hand through my life.
lot about your children. You write a lot to them and about them. I guess they're just a very big part of your life. Well, they're pure. And it's nice to play to the little people. And, and, uh, they're on your album covers and, I mean, the song, Little Jesse. Mm -hmm. Is there one tonight for Django? Mm -hmm. um, I want them to like music. Um, and I didn't start to way late, you know. Uh, I think that kids can express themselves real quickly with music. They have a lot of fun with it, and that's basically the way music should be. I think country people know that more than anything else, that a good, simple song is it's fun to sing and play. It's not too complicated, and, and that's the joy of it. Gospel, you know, church music like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to... I like to sing simple songs, pretty much so. Mr. Bojangles is kind of a simple song. It tells a beautiful story. That's been one of your, your biggest hits, the people, when you say Mr. Bojangles, and they say, oh, Jerry Jeff Walker. That's what you're kind of identified with. Has that bothered you at all? No. It's really been kind of a, a help you out. Hey, yeah. you know, I wrote that song. and Yeah, that's what, I mean, that part is nice. Yeah, but I was also able to express something that happened and, and find out that that sort of, but poetry does make people feel good. And, and you knew this man, Mr. Bojangles? Yeah, I was in jail with him in New Orleans. Oh. It's a true story. That's what I do. Kind you of always write about things that you've actually seen and felt. Mm -hmm. It's because of the fun of that, going out and playing, you get your memories again. You get to relive places you've been and things you've seen, and that, therefore it's not really a job for me. It's, it's a trip down memory lane. Yeah, you seem kind of like a wanderer. You just want to wander through life and, That's it, baby. and experience everything there is.
things to amuse myself and and if I don't write it down I don't feel like I'm working I feel like I'm playing like a bird sings out into the wind and so I thought that's the kind of music I think is the best I ever play because I don't try to capture it as much as I just play it and let it go and if you do that you're a musician I mean you're not a musician just because you have a musician's card or you got a Nashville address you're a musician if you play around your house or in your shower or if it really comes from your heart yeah and you play music out then you are part of the musician family and i think musicians as people are a nice group
uh, I don't have like CDs and IRAs and all that sort of stuff and condominium backing up. I'm not one of those type of people. I'm always afraid I put some money into something. I'd be sitting around complaining about polluted waters or something, find out all your stocks are in power plants by some attorney, and it just comes right back to haunt you. You know, like they're starting to learn to that people can invest in things that that they make a statement with them and do it. But I've always kind of just uh, I have the guitars I want, I have the hats I want. I, I don't buy them because they're politically right or to do that sort of thing. So I just, uh, I'm not in this to get plaques or awards or do that. I just kind of want to go through life with music and see things and, and jot them down. And I don't, I don't know how to read music or write music or... Well, you're definitely I'm part of I'm not making great business, business decisions. I'm just kind of passionately doing what I think I want to do in my life. And, but I'm unhappy. I just want to turn course and go do something, whatever it is that makes me happy. Back up. Oh, ambition.
song that wouldn't end. The song that wouldn't end. with us right here who's just performed Jerry Jeff Walker and we're gonna be talking to him a little bit about some of the songs he's done and some of the things he's been doing a lot of your songs since they come just straight from your heart you you really just get into them when you're on stage you're so energetic when you get there you're jumping around and you're you're tapping your feet and mm -hmm. you're, you're so into them you live them while you're doing them I guess you re-remember it when mm -hmm. you're yeah, yeah. you re-remember the the thing you're writing about, and you probably remember the time you were writing it. I put funny things in the song to amuse myself, and it's fun to come to those again in the song. And so that sort of thing goes on. And then I get to remember places where I've played them, where they were really kind of special, maybe a, a show somewhere or, or to some place or with a special group of people, and that I can kind of remember those times too. There's a lot of remembering going on. It's really a uh, well, I play a long show, like two, three hours. I'm usually pretty tired mentally and uh -huh. physically, too. You like to keep yourself up physically, don't you? I've been trying to. You know, for a long time, it just comes natural. And then they, I think after about 35, you start turning this corner where it's, uh, you have to do something physically. You have to work out a little bit. You need to run, swim, bicycle, dance, whatever you do to keep that energy up so that you, you know. Slow down the aging process. Well, yeah, yeah, just kind of break even with it. Because mm -hmm. you can stove up real good, you know. You jog and I don't know what all to keep your energy going. How, I mean, how do you expend all that energy? You just Well, you get a return from it, actually. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. People think you'd, if you go out and take a five mile run that you'd be tired, mm -hmm. but you actually, you got more energy because everything is opened up, the heart's beating, the oxygen's exchanging, and, and uh, you feel good. Yeah, you seem to be really up after performance because I guess you Well, that's the same thing. It usually happens when you're performing. You notice that, but then that's just an extra bonus. And I've started swimming more in Barton Springs and and uh, got me one of these kind of stump jumper bikes. You know, these are like your old bikes where they're kind mm -hmm. of big fat tires with, um, but they only weigh about, you know. Couple, so if you fall over them, hurt you. Well, they're like the 10 speeds as far uh -huh. as what they weigh, but they're more like our old bikes. You can go up dirt trails, and I like to go back in where all this since they're tearing up the Austin all over the place with these new roads going in, I just ride up in there to see what it looks like before they leave. Uh -huh. yeah, before they made something out of it.
done a double back play. is really the place for you to be. They have the same kind of atmosphere there. That's even, but even Austin now is getting tamer. Everybody I know is either selling real estate or because oh. uh, the boom is coming. It was it was a lot more fun and loose, but it's still, it still has good points, but it's changing fast. It's starting to be spoiled like everything else. Then, then you have to move on. You seem to have fought that yourself, though. Within yourself, you seem to have fought the big people that wanted to change you and well i know the rules i know what you you do yeah you do certain things to uh i.e make it or uh, couldn't do it i just kind of done whatever i wanted to do and i'm not trying not to do something i'm just trying to make what i do i think that's the happiest picker you can be is when what you like to do you can be paid for doing that and people will come knowing what you do and and everything kind of works out that way. You're not having to do something you thought they might want to hear, and they come because they thought they liked what you did, and you're both in this room kind of, you don't really want to play it, they're not really sure, you know, kind of. Most comes out of me, they
Production costs for Austin Pickers were provided in part through grants from the Loden Shoot of Temple and Mike Kilpatrick Pontiac Buick of Killeen.